Join the Avs uh, Ice tonight. Hockey fights cancer. This is a tradition that's more than 20 years old. A very cool tradition. A handful of hockey fans who are fighting cancer took center ice at Ball Arena tonight and skated around on the ice at halftime. And Denver 7's Colette Bordelon got to meet them. And Colette, this is a special meeting this year because it is just one week after Avs commentator Peter McNabb died after his long battle with cancer. Yeah, McNabb was 70 years old. He announced last year he was fighting cancer earlier this year. He was in remission, but it came back. Tonight at the arena, it was a chance to pause and understand the impact cancer has on all of our lives and to inspire hope. Oh my gosh, moment of like... Locker rooms, where the greats get ready. The world stops kind of, kind of moment. Where every minute is filled with anticipation. It's the best adrenaline rush. Definitely. And where this hockey player is living the dream. First time I've ever signed a jersey. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Sarah Carr, surrounded by people she loves, heads down the hallway at Ball Arena, <laughs> laces up her skates, <laughs> and steps onto the ice. And that big A right in the middle is just amazing and overwhelming. This is just the rehearsal. And I can't imagine like being out there on the ice and with the crowd cheering. For a moment, that means more than words. I play hockey and I'm tough and how can this ever happen? What happened to Carr happened to the others out on the ice with her. Been going through chemo for about eight months and just fighting it. It's so real, like, and not fair and horrible. Her fiance can't ever forget that day in February when they found out Carr has stage four pancreatic cancer. I'm a planner. I like to know what's going to happen. And so just this, this unknown of you know, where, where will we be, we be in a month, in, you know, a week. It can happen to anyone. You know, look at my buddy, 30 years old. Stage four colon cancer. Nick Brown is skating with his friend Colby Hawkersmith's name across his back. Colby was my main guy. He was always my main guy. Hawkersmith is in the hospital tonight after coming down with an infection. Because his body's still so breaking down from chemo, the infection just spread and he didn't couldn't fight it. He was on a breathing tube the last two, two or three days and they, they took it out last night and he just started talking. It was unbelievable. Hawkersmith will watch virtually as his friend takes the ice in his honor. I didn't know how I was going to do this if he was still not talking today, but I'm just stoked. You know, I'm just stoked to be here. No, no way to watch it. The lavender jerseys living in the present instead of the unknown. This will be such a drain for Sarah today. Like she'll sleep for the next like three days, but she will be so positive for the next few weeks. Because even when the lights go out tonight, it's the memory they take with them. Let's go just take the ride and have fun. And we'll see how tomorrow goes. <laughs> Hockey Fights Cancer partners with the American and Canadian Cancer Societies. The entire month is a fundraiser that happens with every team in the NHL. Since it started, it's raised more than $20 million to support cancer programs. Live in the newsroom, Clot Bordelon, Denver 7.